he knows more of what's happening. Sorry, what? Frost, you're starting mm. with uh, the... Uh... Is everyone here? Mm, pretty sure. Shield, are you awake? Yep. Oh, okay. Bullshit. <laughs> I need some RT in them. Uh, fire personnel, I, I, I don't know your name, you look Matthew. new to me. Matthew, okay. Matthew, can you hear me? Hello? Was anyone else hearing him just there, or was it, is he just genuinely just dead? I don't know. I don't hear any. I don't hear anything from him. He's a lieutenant, right? Yes, sir. Fire lieutenant, can you hear me? Hello. Welcome, Matthew. And I thought it was crash breaking. Now we were just starting. All right. So, uh, I'm not sure uh, what all of your department heads or anything like that. If you know, or if you haven't noticed in the past couple of days or whatever, there's been a lot of LAO shootings again recently. So, uh, vests and helmets and all that, if when needed, um, definitely vests anyway, more than anything else. Um, Matthew, I don't know what your protocol is over there at fire, but highly recommend you have some form of vest inside your apparatus or whatever you're running today. Oh. Did you have a pack vest, so... Okay. Um, as well as that, so there was a situation a couple of days ago uh, involving a pursuit. The suspect, unfortunately, was pronounced DOA by Oceanside Med. Um, then he had a family relative get involved. And as of right now, we don't know exactly what the story is with everything else. But they have gone after three uh, LEO units, which is why Senior Corporal Sam is currently not here with us, and he is in Oceanside Med. Uh, Staff Sergeant Thomas was struck yesterday, possibly linked with that same situation, as well as that a VCAT uh, 18 charger was also taken from the scene by another male. Um... I don't have the description with me. That's going to be with uh, Sheriff Hudson and Sergeant uh, Thomas. Um, it, it is a tan, unmarked, but it has ram bar, uh, wraparound, spotlights. All It has all the gear on it, just no markings. Plate is a standard BCSO SRT. Don't worry, all of the SRT vehicles' plates have been switched over to eliminate the discrepancy. Uh, plate system is in the AMPR system, so if any pings go off about it, try and secure that as quick as possible. Because, uh, to my knowledge, all of the gear was still logged into and still accessible and unlocked inside that vehicle. Uh, including what we have been getting shot recently by, which is going to be uh, long-range rifles similar to Remington 700s that can take 308 ammo. Not a fun round to get hit by, so that's what I'm saying about the vests. 
Um, other than that, I don't really have anything else other than just stay safe. Don't grow up to anything if you're feeling unsure about, you know. That goes for you guys, you as well, uh, Matthew. If you think you need assistance on a call before you even get on scene, don't be afraid to call someone. We'll see if we can break, spare someone or not. I don't have anything else. Um, just stay safe. Don't get shot. Don't get uh, zapped. Don't get blown up. Foot 54, Archivase. 354, and, timed uh, out. Did you see Trevor Phillips or his crazy cousin or brother run the other way? Something like that. Yeah, anything, director? Uh, no. Everything's near enough been covered. Um, only other thing is I'm going to be running motor tonight, so uh, yeah, just keep an eye out. So don't run you over, got it? Yeah, please don't do that. Yeah, please don't. Don't jinx I'll, it. Uh, I'll get the uh, helicopter ready. I'll get the rescue truck ready to uh, break bodies through the motorcycle. Lovely. Cool. All right. I already, I already have my tack gear on, so <laughs> yeah, right. I'm my gear on me, so I'm, I'm pretty yeah. much secure on that front. Mhm. Mm and door. What the hell? My eyes are seeing. And that. door. Probably. Director just jumped in front of me somehow. <laughs> Standard. Uh, I'm going to be primarily focusing on uh, attack med stuff anyway today, so should, should the reason should I need to use it? Hopefully, I won't. So. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to the patrol. I'm going to be rolling as a motor unit tonight. And hopefully, foot fifty four, Archivase, three hundred and fifty four. Should get some interesting calls. And David, three five four, show me ten forty one ten eight, active LSSD supervisor. Forty one, show me ten forty one ten eight, active SRT VCAT, going to be known as X ray one. Medical 11, 1041 tonight. <coughs> 101, 1041 tonight, tonight 5, gonna be active motor unit, call for sign, tank of mic 101. See what we can get up to today. Um, I'll be honest, not sure what's planned, and not all too fast. I've got a lot of things to be doing on the side of things with in regards to server devving, so I'm probably going to be doing that for the most part during patrol today. But any calls we do go to, I'll get the recordings done and obviously get the editing done. But uh, yeah. I may touch on briefly about obviously what I mentioned on the previous video, which I'll be editing soon anyways. Um, I still need to get around to that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there to be fair. So, yeah. Make sure you want to show me an area. Be advised, I have eyes on the female. She's going to be in the middle of the road. If I could get possibly another unit just for traffic. Tag a mic one on one, what's the postal place? Seven zero nine zero, that unit step it up, please. Ah uh, well you can roll it maybe code two. She got she jumped off the road now. 
Who's that? if you want to send an actual uh, medic up here or if you just want to send uh, one of your why am I smoking a orange two-door uh, easy with a driver front at the wheel it's gonna be a local at this time Ten more engine 11 will be in route. You seem, you do seem fairly familiar. Oh, Frost. Howdy, we're being a bit agitated. Huh? Who, what, when, here, how, oh, why? Who are you talking about? Oh! Tommy, yes, uh, yeah, okay. Natalia, right? Okay, from this perspective, I was full sure he was going to end up clipping your bike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I trust Briggs to have a better judge of character than that. He's in 11 Medic 11. I'm just out on a uh, local that slumped over a wheel, 7090. Roger, do you want me to wrap Oh, okay. Yeah, if you'd like to, we're probably going to be a uh, DOA at this time. Roger, and not correct, right? Right, well, that's a You're Natalia, right? Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, do we, uh, are we just high off of caffeine or anything else? Alright. 
sorry, you found sugar? Um, okay, where? My like 11, gotta have one patient. You gotta be out cold. Huh? Apparently 10.50 with another local. Okay. Which house and where? Tommy's house? What's the actual incident that's happened to her? Uh, she was da she was in the road. <laughs> okay. And when I rolled up, she was literally, I being serious here, dancing in the middle of the lane that you're currently blocking with your bike. Right. Okay. What's the story with the um with that? Orange that is was he. due to traffic not paying attention to my lights. They also ah. me. Right, okay. No worries. Okay. How about we just uh, stay out of the road? Uh, guys, apparently, apparently the driver of this orange is he's rear-ended Frost when Frost arrived on the scene. So, not sure what how extensive the injuries are, but I think it's a fairly low speed shunt, to be honest. Yep, I think. Ow. Fuck. I don't know anymore. Can you get out Has of the road? Has she actually been road? injured or something or what? No, she hasn't been hit or anything. Right. Just old bruises and scratch marks, but that's about it. Okay, well if there hasn't been a crime then I'd say cut her loose, no, mate. I'm just trying to get them to stay out of the bloody road. <laughs> so we get out of here sooner they get out of the road, I suppose. Oh, that's my case. All I'm going to say is at least she's out of the road. <laughs> yep. Dispatch. So, once Fars, for once Fars cleared her, mate, I'll clear the lanes up. Alright, appreciate it. No worries. Ironically, I don't think any there's been any crime that's been that's happened, Briggs. The only reason you guys are out here is because Frost is came out. The chick that's about to steal your bike? Now she ain't going to steal my bike. I immobilized it, mate. But yeah. Keys. Yes. <laughs> Unlike last time. Yeah. Lesson learned there. But yeah. No, ironically, actually, the only reason why you guys are here is because someone crashed into Frost's vehicle on arrival. And that and was it. Uh, being like a three car pileup with them being in the middle and then all the other three vehicles decided to hit and run because they all left. Yeah. Nice. Basically. Other than that, you're fine. Yeah. All right. I'm good. Cool. All right. Now, so I say we cut away then, because there's not really been a crime there, and she's only gonna just keep reacting to our presence, in my opinion. So. Yeah. So... Probably the reaction we're gonna get. Yeah. Basically. Perfect. Does that work for you? I will. Um, I'll make sure I take a piss first before I head up the lane. Yeah. Tell me about it. Yeah. Probably be the best idea. Alright guys, we'll catch you. And a bit. Dispatch engine 11, service return. 54, Archer Base. 354. Can you sure? Out. Yeah, I got it. Alright mate, no worries. Take it easy. I want to give you an easy day on your first day back from wherever you've been. Nah, it's all good mate, it's all good. Appreciate it, Frost. There he is. Have a good night, Gomez. Alright. You best clear on off out the road. Can you start one county statewide pulling new flatbed for one orange two door Izzy? It's gonna be wrecked out in the middle of Final Boulevard. Fire yes, two well, they're going off in a minute. Channel. So I would suggest you get get on your way.
Oh yeah, no, you yeah, no, you can you can go. That lane's fine. Oh, 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 right. Okay. Yep. I think I'm like one on one, I'm gonna be clear from the last code for tonight. <laughs> God damn it, I wanna finish my shift without a headache. You think that's gonna be possible, you're sadly mistaken. Apparently. <laughs> you have Briggs on. You're always mm -hmm. in a headache. Yeah. Usually. Alright. Incoming 911. Hey, there we go. Eight two sixty eight. New dispatch nine one zero eight Grove Street nine one zero eight. Take a mic one on one. I'll be on route to that latest nine one one. Three hundred and fifty four. Joined your channel. The latest as well. Medical weapons or no? So we got fire rolling as well, they're not going to be that far ahead of us. There they go, there goes Medic. Is there? Alright. Yeah. Alright. No worries, I'll try and follow it. Mm-hmm. Another one. Oh, sorry. Check. Tango Mike 1 on 1. 23 on scene. Attempting to locate a possible third party involved in the incident.
was towards the LTD apparently. The other one I possibly got eyes on our individual is going to be Natalia Sanchez. Stand by. Hey, Natalia. You are you just involved in a... Uh... Charlie one shots fired? Turn four. Be advised, we got Natalia Sanchez as the victim here. Natalia, you want to stop? We got to treat you. X-ray one three four four. You need me down there? Uh, I got two locals. Uh, you just been involved with a uh, fight with a dog? Hey, come here. We can get um, Natalia. She's not really with it, Briggs. Stop walking. Grab you. Did I get the picture across? Back over here. One that was attacked by the dog back there? I would say so, mate. Yeah. Well, since you're being so confused. Checked out. You want to search her? Yeah, uh, can do. And so I'll just let you know this interaction is being audio and video recorded through body cam and equipment fit to my vehicle, okay? Yeah. If you got anything on you I need to know about, anything that's going to poke me, stick me, piss me off in any way, shape, or form. Okay, where, where is it? Just point to it. Can they have a 3-5-4? 
254 show medic 5 transporting 1 show 1 DOA. No. Okay. All right, which pocket? Just po just point to the pocket that you've got the object in. And I'll take it from there. Tally, you either have something on you or you don't, and if you do, you know where you've got it. Come on. If I was being that confused, I would just be careful. Yeah. I have a feeling she's lost enough blood and she's about to pass out. I need to get her in that medic quick, though. Yeah. Well, if you want to load her in the medic with some unknown tool on her or whatever. Well, that's fine. I'll load her in it. If you want to search her in the medic, I don't care. Yeah, can do, mate. Alright. We got patient care cameras, so we're good. There we go. You want to move forward from the black traffic? Yep. All right, Briggs, I've got a phone, or I believe it to be a phone and a switch played off her, mate. You'll be free to transport her. All right. Uh, hopefully. Okay. Ow, fuck. Oh, Jesus. Medic! Um, <laughs> All right. <back> in. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> right, you take her. All right, no worries, mate. Look at dogs in a bit, mate.
think my corner one's going to be clear. Back 10 6, transporting evidence. New dispatch, undefined, 9108, Grove Street, post 9108. <laughs> Dispatch Protect 11 will be out at Central Medical Hospital. Oh, good. The station is broken again. I think I'm not going to have that vehicle. Can we Strawberry Avenue underneath the Olympics just on a burnout proceeding north? Making a west and then a northbound turn from Elgin onto Vespucci. Looking for another westbound turn. Have I got other units on route to me, please? Actuated run, I'm running. Copy. Vehicle is otherwise highway code compliant, uh, just minus the speed at this time. We're going to be Elgin and San Andreas Avenue, uh, waiting for a westbound turn onto San Andreas. Vehicle is going to be a black Lamborghini occupied times one I believe at this time northbound from San Andreas onto Power Street lower
making a westbound turn integrity way we're going to be coming up Alta Street here stand by Second bike, 101 final stop is going to be Alta Street 7279 northbound lanes. Black two door sports car occupied times one. 418 is going to be out with me, or correction, 481. Good evening, sir. Can you, uh, or good morning, rather, can you roll your window down, please? Uh, just stopping in for your manner of driving, your speeding, coming northbound from Strawberry as you went under the Del Perro, clocked you at 49 miles an hour. Are you aware of the speed limit in that area? 49. No. Speed limit is going to be 35 miles an hour in that area, sir. What? No. Yes. It's at least 40. Or 40. Actually, yes, I believe you're correct there. It is 40. Um, it's worth a try with the 49, but I know it's not right. So. Yeah, no. Um, you got your driving license, registration, and insurance for the vehicle by any chance? Yes, I do. Cool. And is there anything in the vehicle I need to be aware of? Any drugs, weapons, nothing like that? Uh, no. Cool. Happy days. Oh, do you want the stuff? That's generally the idea, sir. Oh, okay. No, I just yes, to please. Add it. Hold on. Well, let me yeah. find it. It's, just, it's in there somewhere. Okay. There you go. Awesome. Thank you very much. And what's the name I'm looking at on this, sir? That's Bill. Okay. And what's your last name, Bill? Uh, board. Billboard. Okay. Alright. Sit tight, Mr. Board. I'll be back with you in a moment. <laughs> okay, I can't sit here being bored. <laughs> Guy's name is Billboard. Of all people. Yes. Okay, let's have a look at him and see what we got. Why? What's up? Uh, no, I'm just. I, I think I heard something. I want to go over the fence there behind you. I just want to make sure. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Just sit tight here, Mr. Board. We'll be back there in a moment. It might have been coming from under the freeway, mate. Maybe. Alright. Alright. Okay. All right, it's it's only nine over, so I'm just gonna cut him away with a verbal warning. 
Alright. Ah, uh, yeah, it was the speeding vehicle. But seeing as we've only observed, seeing as we've only observed nine over, then there's not much we can do on that one, unfortunately. Yeah. But yeah, I just needed the backup just in case he did decide to run, because otherwise I would have, I would have been fucked as a motor unit. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get it. Yeah. Right. right. All right, Mr. Board. Here's your information back. Um, on this instance, mate, because it's only nine over. I'm going to cut you away with a verbal warning. Um, it's not going to be any mention of it on your record or anything like that, but just keep in mind that because obviously 911 was called in on you for speeding. So I imagine you've either been consistent or at one point you did reach an excessive, a truly excessive amount of speed to just slow it down. I appreciate it's a fast car and everything like that, but that's uh, still no excuse, sir. I was, I was annoying... Um... I was annoying all the people down in Grove Street because they don't like my fancy car, so I was driving my fancy car there and they keep calling 911 on me for it. Okay, I see. They, they don't like me, so I keep annoying them. And then they keep calling me and, and then it makes them not like me more. Okay, well, either way, just stay safe. I mean, I would advise not to try and irritate them, but... Nah, it's great fun. I ain't got anything else to do. Okay, well, just be aware... The 911 call still technically stands because we have seen you speeding in the area, sir. So that's still no excuse, I'm afraid. I wasn't using it as an excuse. I was giving okay. you an explanation, mate. Okay. Well, either way, uh, you're free to go. You don't have to wait till we get back to our vehicle. You have a good day, and uh, yeah, take it easy. Yep. <laughs> no, I said he could go whenever, but uh, yeah, only barely got his documents back in the car before he set off. <laughs> but yeah. I'm gonna roll down towards uh, uh, Laura just because of where she is and what she has stopped. Yep, that's fine, mate. <laughs> You're good, her Laura. Yep. All right, no worries. We'll be about if you need any help with this one.
dispatch available. Mike 101 be advised. I've just witnessed um, Mr. Board go back towards Grove Street in his uh, black sports car. He's now northbound Broge, but I think he's trying to irritate other members of the uh, Barlows again. Sorry, All right, mate, when we uh, get through these light, pull over where it's safe to do so, and let's have a little chat, yeah? Okay. Excuse me, local, that's not how you press the button. Second mic, one on one, I'm going to have a uh, traffic stop. 9134 form drives on that black two door sports car. I'm gonna have 481 with me. Uh, yeah, I suppose. You alright just to pull into the alley a little bit more? Okay. Alright. Alright, Mr. Board, should we talk about that left hand turn you made right in front of me? Which one? I think you know the one. The one where your back end almost came and overtake, overtook the front of your vehicle? No. Carson coming on to, was it Broge? Oh, bro, Gavin. I didn't see a Carson and Bro. That was normal. Uh, give me a second. I'm trying to get my bearings now. Pretty sure it was around the Carson slash Davis Avenue area, though. You try making a left-hand turn. It is it Carson and Davis or Carson and Bro? We're trying to be on it. I think it's Carson Davis actually, but either way, I was trying to, uh, I think it was actually uh, my green light as well. So as I was about to pull off and then you came skirting around in front of me, left hand turn. No, I definitely had a green and I just drove through it normally. At least that's what my eyes said. Okay. I'm good with colours, I'm not, I graduated kindergarten. Okay. I got, I got all the way to like halfway through high school before I had to give up. All right. Um, right. I'm not going to waste any time with any sort of citations or anything like that. Um, but obviously, from what you told me earlier about you liking to provoke 
the people down in Grove, I'm going to again advise you against it. If I do see you specifically on Grove Street again, um, I'm going to get you uh, dispersed from the area as an official order, okay? Okay. Also, drive more carefully because you are hauling ass around the uh, area, okay? And I didn't appreciate how close you came to potentially making contact with my bike on that left hand turn, okay? So. All good? Uh, yeah, I can't find any donkeys, but I'll keep my eye out. Okay. You're free to go, sir. Thank you. Alright, that's. Um, we'll just cut him away. Another note. Yeah. That yellow vehicle? Mm hmm. Uh, they feel like they're being followed slash stalked by uh, some uh, family members. Okay. So oh. just keep your eyes out for that as well. Yeah, I gotcha. I'll keep an eye out for it. Alright, Alright, Mike. In a bit. He made a right turn towards the Grove again. Oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> oh dear, that was funny.
Thank Mike one on one. Can I get others to nine zero nine zero, please? We've got possibly a uh, gang related road rage incident. <laughs> Mate, are you involved? They're walking in front of my car. So I'm getting... Okay. Right, you're yeah, aware. They've been off the side, actually. They're okay. Right, okay. Oh my god. god. Okay, mate, no worries. Just sit tight here. Okay, right. What's the, what's going on here then? Okay, I pulled over because I had a phone call. Okay. Uh, this green guy behind me just came up mm -hmm. to me uh, all aggressive. Right. And he's telling me to get a pick out. I can't drive while I'm talking on the phone. Right, okay. So, I pulled over. And, yeah. You have been seen around my area multiple fucking times. Come with me. Alright, is that true? I was driving around. Okay, specifically... And you didn't cause any issues? Well, specifically around the forum drive area? I didn't, like, forum drive everywhere. Okay. Alright, um... Is the... I need to interrupt this really quick. Is the Lambo involved? Uh... Possibly, I was actually going to get his account. Would you mind taking this lady's account real quick? So I need to verify her whereabouts. I'll just get uh, Mr. Well, this gentleman's details and his account and what's, what's happened. Because he's actually come across, I believe, the green and the yellow shirts arguing. So, yeah. No, Frost, if you deal with the uh, Vargos lady, please. I'm going to oh, deal with this gentleman. It's all right. All right. Uh, Mr. Board, is it? Alright, uh, you have to talk here, or would you rather talk somewhere else? I mean, I don't care. Alright, uh, just real quickly, what happened from your account of things? Well, I was driving down the road, and obviously I can't drive through people without being called a fucking criminal, so I did. And then I have to beep at them, and they won't move, and then I told them to get out of the way, and then they would, and I can't be asked to deal with them. Okay, no worries. I, I don't see what they're doing, I don't particularly give a fuck, but they're just in the way of being <laughs> Okay, did they, did they respond at all, or how did they respond if they did, or? Um, I told them to get out of the way, and then they came over and shouted at me, saying, what did you say to me? So I think they need to go get here and hit us in it. Alright, um, there's no damage to your vehicle or anything like that, is there? If there was, they would not. <laughs> Be being dealt with by you. All right. This is, this car's worth more than your life. Uh, I doubt that, but I'm sure it comes close. Uh, all right, Mr. Board, you're free to go. Um, I'll be in touch if I uh, need anything further from you. I've got your details from previous encounters, so shouldn't be an issue. All right. In a bit. Try it now. Thank you. Now you can go away. That's what I basically said. He's a Vargas member. Mm -hmm. All right, you're good to lock it up, Frost. I was actually driving. Oh, I was basically driving all over. Okay. Yeah, pretty much.
Oh yeah, I understand that, but people, I mean, people can be territorial. I technically <laughs> didn't stop anything on their territory. Yeah, no, I, I understand your point, but you know, dude, apart from when it's red lights. Mm -hmm. Purely just because it's very territorial. Yeah. Not, not some kind of place you can feel or anything like that. But you know, it's just not happening. Yeah, that'll be fine. Anyway. So, uh, what's your, uh, what's your name? Steph Mellows. Steph Mellows? Yes. I like the marshmallows. Warning, RFO, firearms, weapons, gangs. Male in green came out being all aggressive and agitated. Okay. Warning, RFO, firearms, weapons, Boys, gangs. Uh, Alright, give me one sec. Yep. Okay. One sec. I'm not getting anything on a. Not getting anything back on a stuff, my lies. How are you spelling your name, Steph? So, Steph, it's S T E P H. Yep. And then Mellows, M E L L O W S. Yeah, I got no civilians found on that. Want me to try? Yeah, you can try if you want to, mate, but I'm definitely not getting anything back on my end. Oops. Oh, stand by. I got Steph Mello. Uh, right, okay. Okay, yeah, it's just Mello. Yeah. Fine. Also, they don't have a. Uh, they've not got a photo attached to their ID. Okay. You might want to get that rectified, alright? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Must be DMV error then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Steph, I'm just noting down that you've got a open and close carry license for a handgun. Have you got that handgun on you at the minute? It's on my waist. Right, okay. I, we've basically come to the, to the agreement of speed for her, I won't have mine anymore. Shit, oh, no, that's fine. Oh, me with a gun. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that is criminal for us. Uh, he pretty much uh, lifted up his shirt and showed me a gun. Okay. And, all that. and then quickly put it down so that one of you didn't drive past and see it. Okay. You want me to go over the weapon? And... Yeah, I can check it if you want, mate. Alright, any particular reason why you're coming through GSF's area? I was just driving through. Okay, where to? Where are you going to? Well, I'd, I'd, I was just driving around. I don't have a particular place. Okay. Um. So, in that case, what made you come through Forum Drive? Bear in mind, you, you'll be well aware that it's obviously Grocery oh. Family's area. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's just... Yeah, I just wanted to go through there. While I was driving around. And you're not thinking you're gonna cause a bit of a stir, no? A little bit, but not too much. Not like he he caused. Not like now four police, well, three police cars and a police bike on scene now, no? Oh, I. Yeah, I didn't think it would cause it that much of an issue. <laughs> okay. Um, were you the person, or was there a report earlier, were you the one that was saying you were thinking that you were being followed by, uh, Grove Street families? I, I felt like I was being watched while I was on a traffic stop with, uh, the LSSD person. Oh, okay. Alright, no worries. And I believe that was him. Okay. 
Okay, dogs. I had to pull over somewhere to. Yeah. For the traffic stop. No, that's fine. Alright, we'll sit tight here, see if. Uh, see what comes of this, and when's he actually okay. lifted his shirt up to show you his weapon? Uh. Probably. Like. 10, 15 minutes before you showed up. Right, okay. Okie dokes. And he said, he said to me, uh, I might want to get out of here before something bad happens. Yeah. So what's the general dialogue been after that? Oh, I, I stood calm. I was like, you don't scare me, bro. Oh, that's fair enough. Oh, I don't. Bet I don't. And I was like, no, no, you don't. Oh, that's fair enough, mate. If I leave you here, you're not gonna go running off, are you? Oh no, I'm not gonna run off. Alright, just keep your head on a you swivel, because obviously nice. there's other GSF about. Oh yeah, you, you guys are too nice to run off. <laughs> okay. I have not sat with her with Steph. Okay, because she's claiming that you lifted up your shirt and there was a gun in your waistband, whether that's a BB there gun or an actual weapon. gun. There is not any weapon. Uh, have, you got, have you actually got a firearm on you at the moment? I don't fucking believe so. I'm just kind of pissed off that they fucking are around our area. Seen multiple mate, times and mate, I'm whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Do you have a firearm on you at the minute? Is the do rag too tight around your head or what? And just pull the I don't know shit. Because you'd pretty, I'm pretty sure you'd know if you had a fucking gun on you. It's unloaded and it's a BB gun. Right, okay. How Where's... come you told me you didn't have anything on you? Because it's when not I an active it. threat. And right. I don't really feel comfortable saying I have a firearm on me when I have three police around me. Right, where? One with a rifle. Right, where is that firearm located at? It's a, it's a fake gun and it's unloaded. Right, where is, where is the firearm located at? It's literally in my waistband. Alright. On the front, side of my waistband. 12 o'clock position, whereabouts? On my left side. Alright, okay. 9 o'clock. Yeah. My side. Yep, I see it. Don't make any sense to me. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. What is your name? Antonio. Antonio? Right, Antonio. Do you, un you understand when it comes to firearms, whether it's a BB gun, a pellet gun, You really gun. think I'm going to tell us three cops that that Hold on, I hold on. Hold on. Any type of firearm projectile is considered a gun. Okay. It is you not metal. You not yeah. I'm gonna go back you over to the. Yeah, no worries. You would have reached for your band for anything like that. I've seen your pocket, and one of us would have seen it. You could have had four guns pointed back at you right then and there. Do you, really th do you really think I'm gonna trust Elio when multiple us have been shot for just if leaning you, them? Honestly, if you would have just come up to uh, Lieutenant here. Or director over there and said, "Hey, I've got I've got a BB gun in my waistband." We yeah, said, I'm okay, still not comfortable it with it. You. I'm still not comfortable with telling three or four LEOs that they're all armed. The one with a rifle, bear in mind. Do you get where I'm fucking coming from? Mate, I that's... get where you're coming from. Yes, carrying a rifle is a tad 
that's yeah real quick right the reason we got sergeant frost there with a rifle all tacked out is because we've had a spate of shootings recently against leo nothing to do with gsf in particular but at the same time you being in a in a violently known gang to leo and to other other territories you know it comes literally with the territory of being in a gang mate you are gonna have you are gonna be interacting with leo a lot okay yeah and most of us are being shot for it <sighs> right okay so oh, you've been carrying a f right nothing so, listen to so me be stupid and be respectful yeah you've been carrying around a fake bb gun we've been nothing but chill with you at the moment and from what i can tell unless sergeant frost is different you're the only one in this encounter right now that keeps raising your voice i get it you're frustrated but at the same time do you not think we get frustrated with having to deal with you guys constantly when you know you guys are trying to beef with other gangs again we're not trying to beef with them i'm just trying to get them the fuck out of here okay because a yeah. few of my I mean, people have been by the sounds, by the, by the sounds by... of it is uh, the yellow people is the vagos correct yeah yes and they have okay. been seen multiple times around our area they're, they're coming in to the green people's area i don't know your guys' gang names or whatever but family so I don't know. I mean, we can probably talk to Vagos, find out whether they're going over there, but... We are not like, going you know, over there by... From what I've heard. Sort of bullshit. From what I've heard, we are not going over there. But they have been seen, one following my girlfriend and their little brother. And then, now seen in the, the same area. So... Like I said, public street. The way you make it sound is if you see any yellow card, no matter if it's a known Vagos member or not, you're gonna... We're not gonna shoot unless they give us a reason. And what I've said is, yes, if we see a yellow car multiple times around our area, is what I meant. Which they have been seen multiple times around the area, and also on forum itself, and in their alleyways. Obviously, we're going to try and figure out what's going on and try and make them leave. All right. Because they're being suspicious. All right, if you, if you think it's suspicious, call us and we'll deal with it. We don't exactly like Elio. <laughs> Yeah, but you flashing a firearm to another rival gang member, you think that's the best move? You think that? You think that that's. Fucking not. Right, well, I'm telling you now, it's not. We've we've I had mean... we've had just as many of your guys go over into Vargo's territory, alright? When I've been rolling around as task force, I've seen you guys rolling up in green factions and all sorts of other vehicle in alleyways near the Vargos' territory. And on Vargos' territory, for that matter. So, you're not I, exactly an innocent I party in this either. Of, I haven't. I have not heard of that. That's myself. that's fine. I'm letting you know. Your gang is no innocent party in this either. All right. So we'll calm it down. From what well, I've been told, they've only been around an hour. Right. Well, I'm telling you otherwise. Okay. And bearing in mind, I have experience with both gangs, and I don't have any bias towards either of you. Okay. We'll calm it down. You'll get your firearm back in a moment, depending on what, um, depending on what that uh, Vargos lady's account is. But if you're going to be seen around again trying to flash a fake firearm around to incite fear into other people, then we will do you for that. Okay. <laughs> do you understand? Mm -hmm. Right. Here, do you take this? I just need to go into my head real quick. I need to sort something out in my head. Say that again. They're gonna be in their head. Okay. Um, I had a feeling she was watching me from a distance. While I was pulled over. I mean, probably. Probably just because it happens, you know? Hmm. I mean, hell, they probably okay. trade apartment keys every now and again. Who knows? Probably. 
All right, so yeah, there was a fake firearm found on the individual. Um, yeah, I mentioned that. Okay. Yeah, on his waistband. Um, but he's saying that apparently Vargos are coming onto Grove Street family's territory a lot lately, so that's why he's oh, that's getting pissed off at it. Yeah, well, it shouldn't be considering if if you're doing it as well, then that's not hard to believe, is it? Well, I I did it like once or twice because I was trying to take. I didn't want to stop at every single stoplight, but that's when you get. Okay. Bearing in mind, either end of he hang on, either end of these the... junctions are both traffic lights anyway. So what what difference does it make coming through here? Well, less traffic lights. All right, if you say so. Um, in fairness, one of the times where she ended up having to go through these areas, it was because of the traffic stop. So that was out of her power. Gotcha. So. No, fair enough. She uh, she feels like that that person over there was stalking throughout that entire traffic stop as well, not so much following. If you catch, if that's what I was trying to talk to you about earlier. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. So. Yeah, I'll try and run an ID on that gentleman actually and see what comes back on that. All I got was that his first name is. You could probably run a partial and link it up that way. Mhm. Mm if the information's filled out correct. Okay. Alright, what's his name? Uh, or what's the partial? Think okay. First is his first name. Alright. Okay, dogs. Alright, nothing's coming back on an Antonio, so... Nothing, or just, or it's clean? Just nothing at all. So, yeah. There's probably a, probably a square, a queer way of spelling it that they have it done. Mm-hmm. Alright. Our system is good, but it's not that good. Alright, do we have an ID on this gentleman? Not yet. Okay, what's your name, mate? I think he's still in his head. Still in his head. Okay. Okay. Antonio, I know that much. So it's Antonio, okay. Because I just tried, Frost said it was an Antonio as well. I just tried looking at an Antonio up, and uh, yeah, nothing's coming back on the partials, I so yeah. Antonio's a good name. When it comes to being personal, I'm head screwed on that. 
October is right. Say that again, Briggs. I said, yeah, Antonio is a nice name as long as it comes with a person with their head screwed on October is right. Yeah, right. So, do they have to register BB guns? Technically, no. Okay. So, looking for a serial number will be completely quick. Um. Okay. BB guns aren't necessarily made to kill. So. No, they're made to hurt. Sting like all oh, hell. I've been shot by my brother a few times as a kid. Proceeded to push him into the pool. I'm back in my house. Uh, Mr. Antonio, do you have an ID on you? Uh, I don't believe so. I definitely just got this from a few seconds ago. Alright, uh, what's your last name, Antonio? Uh, Carta. Antonio Carter. I know you're by the name of Carter. I think that's his first name. Well, there's nothing coming back on him, so. As in, there is no Antonio Carter? No, no, the, there's Antonio Carter, but there's uh, no previous, no uh, priors on him, clean and clear, apparently. All right, sit tight for a sec. All right, are you right? Real quick, are you looking to press charges on this gentleman? Brandon, uh, most likely yes. Okay, because we can get him for criminal threats, but that's the only thing we've got him at the moment. Then yeah. Okay. He threatened me with it. Okay, sit tight. Hey, Shield. Yeah. Do you think you might need extra restraints out of my truck by any chance? No, we should be alright. This guy, because he's being pretty combative. Or do you think you got it? Nah, he'll, he'll be alright. Okay. Trust him. Nah, he'll be fine for us, don't worry about it. Alright, cool. Sorry about that. Is he in 
your emergency contact. Hey, yeah. Know. Breaks. Let me have a word with you. Yep. Right, okay. Uh, so, at the minute, um, the lady in yellow is looking to press charges against the gentleman in green for criminal threats for the firearm, which I'm happy is happened at the minute. Um, is there anything else that you want to go off of here or anything like that? Or I, I'll be honest with you, me being the fourth to show up, I, I don't even have full story from either side, so... Let you and Lieutenant take this one. Yeah, so basically long story short is um, it was actually another person I know by the name of Billboard, don't ask. Um, got obstructed by the gentleman in green who was basically harassing the lady in yellow because obviously different gangs. Yellow was rolling through green's territory. Green didn't like it, confronted her about it in the roadway. And then uh, from there apparently uh, he's flashed that fake BB gun at her as a way to try and intimidate her to stay out of the area and uh, that, that's where it's gone from there ah, sounds about right. yeah so yeah right I was going to say if it was a paintball yeah, gun I would have just to follow along whatever you guys want to do I just don't yeah know I was fourth up, so. okay all right well it's gonna be he's gonna be locked up for he's gonna be locked up for a month uh, five hundred dollar citation. So yeah. Say again. Ten to one, he's gonna run. Yeah, well, not gonna give him that option. Yep. Beef between family and grow. Right, Antonio, do me a favor. Put your hands behind your back, please. Okay. That's one in time, you're going to be under arrest. It's going to be Title 1, Section 13, Criminal Threats, okay? Because you've threatened the individual with a fake firearm as a way to try and uh, get them to clear the areas, I basically. Well, apparently you've raised your shirt to show it. There's a way to intimidate her, okay? As time you... You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be provided to you by the state of San Andreas, okay? Do you understand your rights as I've read them to you? Do you understand? Okay. And with these rights in mind, are you happy to keep talking to myself and my colleagues? Like that as a... We need a definitive yes or no, I'm afraid, Antonio. Okay. Alright, uh, Laura, if we can get him in back your car, get him transported to Davis. I'll follow you with the arrest report. Alright. Alright, Frost, I'm going to follow Laura back to LSSD for a rest report, mate. Sounds like a plan. Alright, start wrapping this up for me and uh, get back out there. Help Frost with whatever he needs, Briggs. Yep. Dog and Mike 101 will be same traffic for the follow up. Alright, All right, guys, I think I'm going to call it there. Thank you for joining me tonight. I will post a follow up update video. On the next video, just sort of addressing a couple more things that I've had some time to think about regarding going back to recording as opposed to streaming. So please stay tuned for that, guys. And until the next one, thank you for joining me. And uh, yeah.
stay well take care take it easy and i'll see you on the next one bye guys yeah, yeah.